Jacobins. It is your turn to bleed. Theromans and AmeriCorps are revolutionary out for revenge. We declare the rights of man, but what of women? Huh. Robespierre names you an enemy of the Republic, Harlot. You have no rights. Jacobins had it in for AmeriCorps. Whipped her to within an inch of her life. The terror ends tonight! <laughs> Save a bullet for yourself, and pray you have better aim than Robespierre. This is what's left of the Jacobins, the radical party behind the Reign of Terror. Hasn't been that weak. Maximilian Robespierre, Jacobin leader, died the day before. Tunnel's ready. Good. The Jacobins are making their last stand here, and plan to flee Paris. Infiltrate the Jacobin hideout, and end the Reign of Terror. Hello everyone, PunchNuts here. I'm going to share with you the future of Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft is playing on more than a decade of the pervasive Assassin's Creed franchise and wants to have more robust modern day sections in future entries. During a recent community stream, lead writer Darby McDevitt said the studio has hundreds of years of in-game lore planned of Assassin's Creed along with an extensive history to explain its origins. We've created 500, 600, 700 years worth of history that we hope to start teasing out for the next 10, 20 years, or however long we're around. McDevitt said, I particularly love the lore. I've been working the past two years with all the other writers on getting a great document together on the first civilization. The aforementioned civilization is the group of precursor beings often shown in the series. Many of the Assassin's Creed storylines goes back to the early faction, and players learn more about them as the franchise progresses, often in modern day scenes. McDevitt said the plan is to use existing material in order to focus on the present day storyline. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, for example, used assets from its predecessor in order to create an immersive setting for the modern narrative. That only came about because we were able to reuse Monteragoni from Assassin's Creed 2, McDevitt says. So the future, and this is the plan, is to smartly reuse things so we can have a more robust modern day. Assassin's Creed Unity had less modern day sequences than Ubisoft originally planned, McDevitt said, but they needed to be weighed with the historical setting of Unity, which is often the most most alluring aspect of each new release. In the case, Revolutionary France. We always plan to have more modern day, but we have to be really smart about how we do it. He said, there was a plan for a little more modern day unity. A plan, nothing that was actually cut. So yeah, that is the future of Assassin's Creed. What do you guys think of Ubisoft reusing some things from past Assassin's Creeds to keep the modern day good? Are you guys all up for par with that? Because I think it's a good thing. I I just want the bar name to be good. If they do reuse some assets, then they'll be fine with me. I'll be totally cool with it. But I just wish Unity had more modern day sequences. It originally had plans, but I would rather have Revolutionary France than a modern day story, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think of the future of Assassin's Creed? Leave your questions in the comment section down below. Please subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.